Okay, one, two, three, and go. <laughs> okay, ready? Go na. Okay. Rolling na. Okay, go. Hey guys! Ay! <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Jex's vlog and today is going to be a very special episode because we have uh, here the three uh, brand executives and their celebrity endorser dito po sa Ligo Sardines event. Palapakan na po natin sila guys. Okay, so we have, uh, the first is the Vice President of Production, Mr. Miko Tung. Hi. And we also have the Vice President of uh, Sales and Marketing, Mr. Mark Hi. Tung. And lastly, the Advertising Manager, Mr. Maki Tung. And of course, last but not the least, the Celebrity Endorser and the sought-after leading man on Philippine TV, Tung Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> Tung, Tom Rodriguez. Alright, again guys, the sought-after leading man in Philippine TV and movie, Odong Alame! <laughs> so, um, I believe we are in the same age, I think. So, can I call you by your first names? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, good. Alright, so, fist bump muna tayo. Fist bump. Uh, fist bump. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to be really honest, this is my first time to actually like um, interview uh, brand executives and a celebrity. So, if you back to Lapo, I'm sorry, if you go back to So, kayo, how's your stay in Davao so far? Um, well, we arrived th this morning. Lang. But we've been here before and we always look forward to coming back. Um, we the love food. the people here, we love the, the food. food. Yeah. What do you like about uh, Davao? Uh, the grilled seafood. Yeah. The grilled seafood. Um, <laughs> seafood. Yeah. And it's uh, somehow actually Mura here. Yeah. Uh, I, I was surprised. It goes far here. Yes. What's that? Let me. Busog salami. Parang sa buong interview. Sound fight. Live, recorded, pre-recorded. True. But we have highlight the Davao chocolate as well. Because it's it tops in the low. Kung sa to sa ranking, number two in the world. Yes, true. So, Tom, this is not your first time here in Davao, right? Nope. I've seen you in festivals. And when we did I Heart Davao. Yes. Sa Manila na mag shoot I did. <laughs> All right, Tavo, we shot here. We were locked in for a few months, so I really had a lot of fun being immersed amongst the Dabawin. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. So, uh, Miko, I believe you are the eldest, yes. right? And the next would be Mark, Mark yeah. and then the youngest is Maki. Yes. Pansin ko nga po kasi parang fit tayo and parang, you know, muscular. <laughs> so, I believe uh, you regular, uh, regularly exercise. Yes, yes. How do you stay fit? Yeah, no, uh, I mean, we maintain um, a healthy diet, and me, uh, personally, I, I make it a point that I wake up at 5 every morning to do some exercise. Because, mm -hmm. I don't know, for me, fitness comes hand in hand with, you know, my mind staying sharp, so it helps me be more produ productive during my day. Okay, mm -hmm. good. So, yeah, I go ahead. Oh, that's oh. right. Para, <laughs> para ito malipot dito. <laughs> Five thirty in the morning. That's it. Yeah, I wake up at the crack of noon. Sometimes I can. Sometimes. Depends. Right. I actually saw some photos of you online. Stalker much? Nagwork ako, nagujim ka. What really drives you to stay fit or stay healthy? For me, my brother mm. sets an example to us. No. Um, actually, I just started gymming recently, mm. like a year ago. Prior to that, I was really skinny, so I was very self-conscious. You know, I'd wear long sleeves, and I told myself, you know, I need to change this, change for the better, and then, yeah, I put my mind into it, and then here we are. <laughs> okay. I believe legal sardines is part of somehow your diet. Yeah, of yep. course. Definitely. Of course, because, you know, um, I make it a point to chase a certain amount of protein every day. Right. And we know fish and sardines is very high in protein, so that's a staple in the diet. That's good. So, magpunta naman tayo sa history ng Ligo sardines or Ligo brand. Um, how did it start, ba? Um, saan nagsimula and um, paano siya? Bakit siya Ligo? Yun, uh, like I said uh, a while ago in the introduction, it's actually a U.S. company. Ligo is short for Liberty Gold. Mm -hmm. 
So we acquired the rights in the 50s. Um, it was, you know, we were just importing product at the time and then selling it. And then when my dad took over during the 80s, he turned it from trading to manufacturing. And the rest is history now. We expanded our lines to meat, to tuna. Yeah. And then just like I said, just recently, this year, we bought the rights now for the Philippines. So, League of Philippines is officially a Philippine, you know, brand. How many sizes are there in the Philippines? Two. Two. Factories? Yeah. One in Sabuanga because it's the sardine capital. And we have one in Manila because we also import raw material there. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. And I actually saw it on your website that parang Ligo brand is also, you, you also sell products worldwide. Yeah, right? correct. Yeah. As long as there's Filipinos, mm -hmm. there's Ligo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Middle East, US. Mm -hmm. Aside, any country with a large Filipino population, mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. demand for Ligo. That's good because we have OFWs everywhere. Gusto din talaga makatikim ng sardines. I think yeah. if, if you get a globe, iikot mo, bumigit ka, kung walang kapo. <laughs> Sigurado ako may Pinoy doon. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> like, Croatia. Nico mentioned that you also have other products aside from sardines. What yes, yes. We have Vigo Tuna, which is recently 100% Tuna. Mm -hmm. We have Vigo Cordy, Squid, uh, Special Variants, which is Kata, uh, uh, Spanish. Then we also have the snack items, which is potato chips. Oh, okay. Yeah. Peanut butter. And uh, yeah, they're not yeah. sardine flavored. <laughs> okay. They're more upcoming. Yeah. Yeah. Which ones are saleable? Sardines and tomatoes. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, one. when you say Ligo, you think sardines still like it. You know, so yeah. even the thing now with the snack items, a common joke is is it sardine flavor? Corn beef ni balas ng sardinas yan. Yes. <laughs> we can't escape yeah. the sardines talaga. So far, um, mark, um, which ones are yung parang harder to market in the Philippines? Which new product? products? Yes. Corn beef. Corn beef. Yes, because of the competition right now. Mm -hmm. They're very aggressive in everything. Right. So, um, who are the celebrity endorsers you know, before Tom? Uh, well, Besides you. <laughs> yeah, there's me. <laughs> um, prior to Tom, the one I could remember is Julina. I was actually yeah. there. I was really, really young. Mm -hmm. uh, then Freddie Webb. Freddie Webb. Freddie Webb. Freddie Webb and I probably was Nova in Vilia. I was in oh, Borgia. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> I, I was still a child. <laughs> The tagline for us was the famous line of Honey Ligo na tayo yeah. ah, from their show. We didn't have time yet. We didn't have time yet because we were just a But besides with that, uh, for Tuna, we did Ma uh, Megan Young. Megan Young, yes. Yeah. When she was crowned as Miss World? Yeah, she was newly crowned at the time. So Maki, who came up with um, the idea na you know, gawa tayo ng commercial tapos parang yung artist na kakanta ng Odong Song. Odong Song talaga ang tao. Odong Song, gano'n. Actually, the singing wasn't part of the commercial. It actually came last minute. When we, when we got together, I mean, my brothers, we we realized that Tom can sing, you know. Like, how could we utilize this? So then, you know, we, we went back to to, to the entire campaign and then how to better execute and then we realized that he could sing the script and then from there that's how we ended up singing Tom, how did they approach you? Parang did you audition ba? or like did they just call you? Or? No, 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 very, very blunt and it was from my manager I heard, I heard from, from my who I trust with my, my whole career I know that anything he feels that gets to me has his stamp and seal of approval. Mm -hmm. yeah, when he showed it to me, it was the the storyboard. That's what I initially initially saw. And when I saw it, pala, I was I was hooked. That was it. Ah, okay. So you already know that beforehand, mm -hmm. and you already have a sort of idea. There was already the the guide for the the music, and I knew when I was looking at the boards, pala, and actually the boards are exactly what you see in, in the commercial. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I knew that they had something in there, regardless of. Sorry, man, I shouldn't be saying this because I'm screwing myself out of my job. <laughs> but regardless of who it was that was there, I knew I knew that campaign would be it. 
nag-trend talaga siya kasi when I saw it on my Facebook page or Facebook feed, parang nagpo-post sila, odong na lami, odong na lami. So parang, saan galing yung odong yeah. na lami? And then, a few days after, may photos na ni ito, may videos na, na may mga captions na yung everything. So parang, ah, okay, dyan pala galing yung odong na lami. So it really, post. it really was a trend. Did you um, actually expect that to trend? I mean, oh. I remember when it happened though, it was like one morning, I was going through my phone, I was really just checking out Twitter and like, Juan, people like our commercial, lots of reception, you know? And next thing I started seeing pictures, I'm like, are we trending? Are we going viral? And I sent it to my brothers, I'm like, check it out. I mean, I think we, I think we did it, I think we did it you know? So we didn't anticipate it yeah. at all. Well, I anticipated. No, <laughs> no but like I said, because the, 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 the the way the campaign was set up was so intelligent. Mm -hmm. Good. Who wrote the song and um, was it really composed um, in Visaya or was it in Tagalog first? Um, Greg actually composed it. He's, he works in, in our ad agency. Mm -hmm. He's, he came up with it and he presented it to us in the how it was song. So then we're like, okay, that's nice. We should we go with that one. But when he wrote it, he, he kept in mind his style of singing. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was it was really written for Tom. Yeah. That was even that's the same thing Popey said. The, he thought it was me singing. So it was kind of confused. When I heard it too, it was like, yung guy palang ah, parang yung mga inflection na parang natural na dumalabas when I try to sing. Mm -hmm. They, they sinali nila on purpose dun sa... Kuha kuha talaga sa how you say. Yeah. Kaya nga buti na lang, kinuha pa rin nila ako eh. Kasi pwede naman yun na lang yung sa'yo. <laughs> yung Bisaya na version, was it... Um, was really meant talaga? It was. It was talaga. When we were brainstorming pa, we knew we were gonna localize the commercial there. And we thought that by localizing it, I mean, the impact would be a lot stronger. and. Look what happened, diba? Sure. Yeah. Tom, this was somehow one point of your career talaga na parang it really helped you na sumikat lalo. Well, I could, I could definitely say that it's it's brought me closer to a lot of my brethren. Sa akong mga kaisipunan, diri sa sa Visayas at Mindanao. Having grown up in summer in Visayas, murag feeling na na akong give-in na katong connection na ako with the with the, with the Visayan people and the Visayan culture. I didn't know that there would be another level pa di ay. Because now I, I really do feel, like I said, I, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I keep saying that these types of milestones in my career are, are very far from between. I, I, can, I can count and name them all in, in, in all five of my fingers. And, and one of the biggest ones that I've had, the biggest impact in my, in my entire career was uh, my husband's lover. That, that type of, of impact I didn't know was possible and it, it, it catapulted and elevated my career somewhat. I can honestly say that that uh, the Siliko Sargent's campaign has done a similar thing, similar impact in my career. Because now everywhere I go, it, it, I like that it makes me feel closer to my, my Visayan and Visayan brothers and sisters whenever they sing the song. Like I said, I, I keep going back to this, that they take ownership and they make it theirs. Yeah. I used to do it katong bata to, katong mga imong mama jokes. <laughs> Growing up in summer, I would I would do it, e, or e, even seeing I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but old campaigns. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. Joan Jo Jo Romano. That, oh that, yeah, Jo Romano. Yes. I would go around saying that it was no longer just a commercial. It was ours. Whenever me and my friends would joke about it, that was ours. And I never thought that I would be part of something like that for other people. And to have it be ako pa mga kaisunan who are near and dear to my heart is even more meaningful to me. So now when I, I see kids, kasi given the, the the moms and the lolas are the target market and, and they were there, pero, pero the, the millennials and the younger market were taken to it and, and, and just made it theirs. I never expected that and it gives me such a such a, a, a a blissful pleasure na di na ako ma-explain. And I think, I thank them for, for, for giving me this, this chance and experience to live. So parang live brothers with you know, ever since you had yeah, like each other. Illegally, I'll, I'll change it to Tom <laughs> Rodriguez. <laughs>